what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so so much for coming back and joining me in another video i am still currently looking crazy but today this is moving i think it's moving vlog number three and we are gonna do a little bit of shopping i went to the um flea market i was about to say farmer's market flea market this morning and i picked up a plant i picked up a fiddle leaf fig tree as well as a snake plant which i still need to get like a pot and some more soil and stuff for but i'm really excited about that i'll put like a little clip so that you can kind of see what it looks like and then of course once i set it up at my apartment you'll see what it looks like as well but we are currently at home goods i think we're going to go to home goods and maybe tj maxx there's also a marshall's in this area too so we'll see what we can get into we're just looking for a couple of items um i really want to look to see if they have like some patio chairs as well or balcony chairs as well as um maybe some end tables or like nightstands for my bedroom so we'll see what we can find and then also just like a, maybe a few little things as well here and there so yeah we're gonna go ahead and head into home goods if you are interested to see what we get into on in this third moving vlog just continue watching <laughs> Some planters. I don't want anything bright though. Oh, it's not the same, but they're so cute. I like oh, this these. One's this is one's it? Broken? Yeah, it is. Damn. Damn. I like these. Maybe it's broken too. Maybe this one might be broken too. And I Are they different from the ones outside? Yeah. 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 Mm. But it is. Cooked. They're bigger though. Maybe they'll give you a discount because they're broken and then right. you can super glue the See? pieces back. Oh, wow. idea. How that much are these? Like, those are eight outside. Yeah, I don't know. Was there a Are they comfortable? Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Not really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, put your butt in it. Oh, oh, this one's like more comfortable than yeah. you. Yeah. Wait, but, let me see. For sure. Put your butt in it. Are they going to last? Oh, that's good. They are comfortable. Yeah. I feel like they would. I have pillows, like, and nope, they're pretty I know, big. But that one's already broken too. Yeah. I mean, they would definitely have to. Oh. Oh, these are Oh, it's just not screwed in. Uh, I don't know. We can keep looking, I guess. Let's try. They have ton, a ton of planters. These ones too. Like this one. Alright, so I'm in this aisle with all of the little acrylic bins, and I need something to store, like help with storage in my bathroom. This might work, honestly. Let's see. We have a lot of options. the next day from when we went to home goods um i did i was able to pick up a few things at home goods don't mind the clutter behind me because i'm still getting my apartment together but i kind of wanted to give you guys um not really any updates we haven't really done much more i did do a little bit more in the kitchen just like putting things away i do also have a load of laundry running so if you hear the washing machine that is what that is but i wanted to show you guys my like plant stuff i made a trip to lowe's this morning and picked up a few things i also went to walmart too so i have everything down here right now i got this indoor potting mix this is what the guy 
that was there recommended to get. So I got two bags of that. Hopefully that will be enough for my plants. I also got these stones to use on, you won't be able to see them on top, but I'm gonna use these um, kind of like on the base of my snake plant just so that they can like kind of drain down. I got one of these just to water my plants. And then I also got this moisture meter thing. So that way I can like test how moist my soil is to see if it is time to water it again. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, there's a couple more things in here. This is gonna be a drainage tray for my fiddle leaf fig tree. Um, since the, the pot that it goes in has a drainage hole on the bottom, I need something to kind of like raise it up and something for it to drip into. So that will be this and something easy I can just clean um as often as i need to i got this little stand to put the pot on top of and put this on top of this but i think i'm actually going to use a different stand i'll show you guys it in a second and then the last thing i got this was from walmart let me get it out the bag i got this little um set it comes with a little pruning i think it's called pruners yeah a pruner it also comes with a trouble trouble whatever a little shovel thing <laughs> and then a little fork thingy and then also a set of gloves so i thought this was like a cute little set that i could use so i'm gonna get my hands dirty even though my nails are jacked up already we're not gonna talk about that but okay over here i have my succulent i just wanted to see what it looks like but i got this little um black pot this little plastic pot because it's gonna go inside of here i'm gonna use the rocks to kind of like raise it up just a little bit and this is what it's in right now but i'm gonna take it out of this and put the soil and put it in here and put the soil around it and then this will sit in here kind of on top of the rocks so that it can drain down into here and then i just have to probably clean this out every once in a while and then for this plan this is my fiddly fig tree i think it's gonna stay right here we'll see but i'm gonna take it out of that little base and i'm gonna put it into here this does have a drainage hole at the bottom and then this is the little stand i think i'm gonna keep it on and then the little clear plastic thing will go underneath this for it to drain down into and hopefully that will work but i think i'm gonna keep it in this little corner here because i feel like this is the best like indirect sunlight i guess you can say um from the research that i is my puppy hey baby <laughs> from the research that i did um it was best to be in indirect sunlight so i feel like this little corner it gets a good amount of light but not like direct sunlight you know so hopefully it will be happy here but yeah i'm gonna work on that probably a little bit later i'm getting ready to cook something right now um and my friends are getting ready to come over in a little bit so maybe they can help me with that i also need to take the dogs on a walk i feel like i always just have so many things to do but yeah when I, whenever we're doing like the plants i can show you guys that hopefully even if i don't show you while we're doing it, i'll show you how it looks after but i'm excited i think that they are gonna um look really cute and they're gonna add some greenery and i've heard that snake plants are very like purifying for your air as well so i'm excited i i'm kind of nervous because i want to be a good plant mom but i think i think it's gonna work out i have i have faith so yeah um i'll catch up with y'all a little bit later when i guess i'm doing something exciting or if i have an update for you hey i'm hanging on my neck the bracelet matches the set My brother name is Tina Dollar Stop all that back and forth over the net My mama wish I would've went corporate She wish I would've went exec I still turn to a CEO So the lifestyle she respect Hey, two sprinters to Quebec Chef Lee, boy, I'm on back They only giving niggas plus one So I never pull up to the Met You know I gotta bring the set You know I gotta bring the G block You know I gotta bring the D block Cause you know how sticky it gets hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. She want me to play with that cat, hey. She love how I make it on wet, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. Hey, yo, Aaron, bring the girls to the stage, cause somebody's getting paid. And three big slime out the cage, and Shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed, cause every song that I made is bring it like I got engaged. Tell my guys I wouldn't trade, run the cradle to the grave, hey. Gordo got me on a wave, and got me on a wave. Couple hits, now you brave. Wait, you niggas better be. 
Hey y'all, so it is a couple of days later from when you guys last saw me. Um, as you can see, I switched up my hair. I went back to my curls for a little bit. Um, I took my extensions out and washed my hair yesterday, a couple days ago. Um, so I'm gonna be rocking my curls for a little bit until I think about what my next um, protective style will be. But I went to the nail salon this morning and got my nails done. Y'all, these things, I was embarrassed to even show y'all a before because my nails were jacked up. Like they were the worst I think they've ever been. I had broken nails. I had some where like the acrylic head came off. Like it was just a hot, a hot mess. So got my nails done. They look much better now. I'm very happy with them. I feel like I'm put together again, you know? But yeah, it's been a couple of days since I went to Ikea. I believe that's like the last clip that I showed you guys or clips that I showed you. And I don't really know how much of it I really showed you, but um, I wanted to kind of just go over like some of the things that I did pick up from Ikea and also just a couple of little updates around the apartment as well. So. The first thing I will mention that I got from Ikea was some towels. I found some really nice like waffle material or print towels, which I was not expecting to find there at all. Um, but they had some there and they're kind of like, I'll show you guys, they're kind of like a waffle pattern on the front of them. But then on the back, they're like, um like a regular towel material so i'll kind of show you these are them right here and as you can see it's like that waffle kind of material on them also they are really really wide so they're almost like honestly they're kind of more so like a bath sheet they're just so big which is really nice and then i also got some of the washcloths as well so this is what the towel looks like on this side but then on this side it's kind of like a regular towel and i used it for the first time last night and it's actually really absor absorbent so i really like it i'm gonna keep using it and then another thing that i really like about it is that it has like little hooks on it to hang it so it has that on the towels and the washcloths which is also really nice and then i also picked up this robe as well which i just love this like print and this color it's just very nice so i haven't actually used it yet but i'm gonna use it because i washed everything and i'm gonna use it so yeah that's pretty much it um oh, that's not it what else did i get from ikea I have to think i got a lot of things but i can't remember the main thing that i went there for though was for end tables or nightstands to go beside my bed and i did find some but they weren't in stock so hopefully they come back into stock if not i'm just gonna like keep my eyes peeled for maybe a different end table that i could use i'm very um limited on space so i need them to be small enough but also like i want a certain color too so hopefully i can find exactly what i need somewhere or if the ones from ikea come back in stock then i'll just purchase those because they're like a pretty reasonable price as well oh i also did get some like food storage containers i put them in a dishwasher so that i can wash them but i got a few different sizes but i got these little containers with the wooden lids which i think that is so cute i needed to like get some more containers anyways because some of the ones that i had were like chipped or broken um and i just didn't have like a complete set I do have the ones from Ikea, but with the like more plastic lids. So I figured I would just upgrade to the wooden lids, which is really nice. Eventually I may, I don't know if I'll upgrade those ones as well. Like the lids at least, if the bottom part is still fine. But yeah, I still need to wash all of this stuff. So I have it in the dishwasher. So that way, um, whenever it's a full load, I can go ahead and just run that. Probably run that tonight, actually. Um, but yeah, I got those, a few of those storage containers. And then I also got a set, a set of curtains. I got some curtains for in here as well. And a curtain rod, which I'll show you right now. 
Okay, so I apologize if it's kind of dark, but I did um, have to close the blinds and the curtains, obviously for privacy, but I ended up getting this really long curtain rod and it is expandable. It goes even longer than this. Yeah, I got this really long curtain rod for a decent price and then I got my uncle to put it up and then I have these curtains. They don't come all the way down, which I have stuff right here you can't really see, but they don't come all the way down to the ground, but it's probably maybe like, <laughs> maybe a little less than a foot um, from the ground, but it doesn't bother me that much because the baseboards of this place are really tall. I don't know, it just, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would, but um, also this isn't my, you know, forever home or anything. So like, it's whatever. But I think that's pretty much it that I got from Ikea that I can think about right now. But I wanted to show you guys my plants as well because I don't think I showed you guys my plants since I got them. So this first plant is my fiddle leaf fig tree. Her name is Francesca, Franny for short, and she is looking gorgeous as ever. And I just watered her yesterday. We're gonna pray. We are gonna pray. We're gonna have faith that I can take care of Franny and that I will keep her alive. I have faith. I have faith in myself. I have faith in Franny. So yeah, she's looking beautiful. Over here, I have my snake plant. It's a mess over here, so we're not gonna show too much, but I have my snake plant over here. This is Alicia. Yes, that's her name. And she's already sprouting a new baby. You can't really see, but she's in there. There's a new baby coming in, which I'm really excited about. But this is Alicia. She, I also repotted her into this like black, more plastic, um, what is this called planter and then i have this one just for you know the looks of it it's very cute so this is alicia my new snake plant and franny my fiddle leaf fig and then once again um it's a mess up here so ignore that these are actually some organizers so i'm gonna show y'all in a second but i also had these little succulents so my friend had her baby shower and one of the um i guess gifts were gonna be succulents like thank you gifts but they didn't come in time so she just let us have a bunch of them so i put a few of them in here hopefully i did this right i don't have as much faith in myself when it comes to this but we'll see they're looking kind of sad right now i also watered them yesterday but i don't know hopefully they survive i feel like i should have maybe put more soil i feel like they're kind of deep down but we'll see I think it looks cute for right now, at least. This is actually gonna go on my coffee table when I get one. It's not gonna stay up here, but for now, this is just where it has to be. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all of the updates that I have for you. There's not that many updates because I haven't really done that much. I've been unpacking a few boxes here and there, but nothing like I feel like important. Oh wait, I do have one more update for you guys. So don't mind my dog's dog food but I did put this table well the table was already over here but I did put or get this mirror put up as well as put a few things that I already had on here so I have this bowl on top I figure this is somewhere where I can I don't know just drop my keys or if I wanted to I could like fill it up with stuff like candy or whatever but it's cute it's up there and then I wanted to just put like black things in here because I don't want it to be like a focal point so anyways I have this like geometrical shape thing down here and what I'm thinking is I have this that's like solid black I got this from home goods by the way I think all of these are from home goods um, including the bowl all this stuff is from home goods actually this might be from at home but everything else is home goods um, this right here has like it's a star with like gold on it, like the tips of the star are gold. So I'm thinking if I could find something else that's like black with like hints of gold on it to go right here, I feel like that would kind of tie in nicely. If not, even just something black that's like, I feel like maybe a similar size to this would go as well. So yeah, all of these, these two are from Home Goods. That bowl is from Home Goods, and then that is uh, at home. And then this table is IKEA. I've had this table already as well as the mirror. I had the mirror in my last place too. So that's that little corner. So the last little update is actually my patio chairs. I already had this little table and this plant and also these pillows, but I just got these chairs from Home Goods as well. Sorry, there's an airplane going by. 
all right but i believe chairs obviously home goods the pillows as well as this table is from target and then this i want to say from ikea or home goods i don't remember though because i've had that for a while but yeah this is what my little patio area is looking like and then i have a little dog's pad right there i do have a rug that is coming in today so i'm going to put that down later on if not tomorrow if it's too late but yeah that's my little balcony area i do want to maybe get some lights out here too but that's pretty much what we are working with for right now so yeah i feel like i have done a lot of talking for this small amount of time but I'm getting ready to actually put my desk together. So I have the area kind of cleared out. Right here is where I would like to put my desk. I'm gonna move this mirror. I think I wanna move it over to that corner, but I have a bunch of boxes over there right now. So I'm just gonna wait. But I'm thinking I want my desk right here. I might leave that in that corner. And then this painting I'll hang up above the desk. So. That's what I'm kind of thinking for this area. I have my desk in that I'm gonna put together as well as my desk chair. And then I have a couple of accessories that I'm gonna put like on my desk, a couple of things that I ordered as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this little area together. Ooh, I forgot to mention my little coffee bar area. I put this little area together, move this out the way. Um, turn the light on. But yeah, I put this little area together, which I think it turned out so cute. Let me move these out the way. You know, there's still stuff all over like my countertops and like everywhere because I'm still trying to get orga organized and unpacked. So yeah, but I put this little coffee bar together. I actually got these two um, syrup container pump things as a housewoman gift from my sister. So I still need to like wash those and then buy syrups to put, but I just wanted to see what they look like up here. But I got these little things um, in the dollar spot a while ago from Target. And then this little jar was one of those jars. I think I showed you guys these. I'm just going to use one out here. And I'm thinking of either putting like little um, like balls of sugar or like crystal wise sugar. I don't know what it's called. Little sugar cubes in there so that I can use for like tea or if I could even find like the little honey stick things or just something like that that I can use for my tea with my coffee. I don't really use syrup. I mean sugar, especially if I'm using like the syrup or coffee creamer it has sugar in it. But for my tea, I will. So I'm going to use just one of those for that. And yeah, this is my little coffee area. Eventually, I would like to upgrade to an espresso machine, but I feel like for now, this at least at least gives me the look I'm going for. And I mean, I still use it. I still use my Keurig, so. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the updates. We're gonna go ahead and put my desk together now. Sorry if you guys can hear, there's like construction or something going on nearby and they are very loud. But yeah, we're gonna put my desk together now. so this is pretty much all that i have gotten done um i pretty much got it put together completely the desk at least except there is one screw that is missing that i cannot get in there for the life of me so hopefully it's fine it honestly is just gonna have to stay like that but yeah i think it's still pretty like sturdy all the other screws are in there so it's fine but yeah this is pretty much what it's looking like uh, i'm getting ready to head to a pilates class right now so once i get back from that i will show you guys like 
the finished, not finished, but I'll finish setting up this area with everything that I have. I want to go ahead and hang that up there. I'm just going to use some command strips to hang it. And then... I'm sorry. Siri, nobody was talking to you. Anyways, I'm going to use some command strips to hang that up. And then I'm going to put the couple of things like desk accessories that I bought up here as well. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So I will catch y'all after Pilates. So it's the next day and we are going to finish getting this area together. So this is how my little desk area is looking. Surprisingly, I got that thing up there pretty dang straight. Usually I'm off a little bit and it drives me crazy, but like it's pretty straight. And my little level thing on my phone said it was straight. So this is my little desk area. I think it's coming together very nicely. Obviously I still have everything to put on top of my desk, like my computer and other things as well. But this is just kind of like the base setup of it don't mind the boxes over there like i said that mirror is going to be moving it's not going to stay there but as for like my little office area this is kind of my setup i think i am going to keep this little um stem i forget what these are called stems i guess in that little vase i think i am going to keep it there because it just adds like a nice touch to this area so yeah i feel like it ties in really nicely the cream color of the chair and everything with my bar stools and then i also like how the gold down here ties into the gold and the painting so yeah i wanted to put it a little bit higher because my computer will sit on top of here and i didn't want it to be like behind my computer so i think this little area turned out really nice so yeah now that that area is put together i need to go ahead and work on my bathroom i still have all of my like products hair products and skincare or like body care products all that stuff is in boxes so i need to go ahead and work on getting that stuff together so i'm gonna do that next but first i wanted to show you guys my rug for my balcony came in my outdoor rug and i feel like it just pulled everything together out there i still need to get lights um like maybe like little i don't know string lights or something just to add to it to just make it nicer like at nighttime but um for the most part it looks nice so i'm gonna show you guys that real quick so this is how my little balcony area is looking i got this rug from rugs usa it's a five by eight rug and it takes up a good amount of space in my balcony i didn't want to take take up the space completely i still wanted to see like around so i feel like it fits this space perfectly and yeah that's how everything is looking the pollen is definitely out because it is springtime um so that table is it's just gonna have to look dusty at times but yeah so yes i'm really happy with that area and how it is turning out um like i said the only thing i want to add out there now are lights um but for the most part, I'm happy that I was able to get that area together because, you know, I can always sit out there like with my pups as well as like if my friends want to come over and stuff and chill out there. So, yeah, it's turning out nicely. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can tackle my bathroom because I am tired of living out of boxes. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom now and as you can probably tell, everything is like 
up on my sink. I haven't actually put anything in these cabinets because I was waiting to film it for you guys. I do have some organizers though. Um, there is a couple things in here, but those will probably get moved. But um, I have boxes behind y'all with like all my hair stuff, all my body care stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is on this side, this top drawer, I want to do like oral care. So like my toothbrush, that kind of stuff. I do have some organizers. So I have these two that I'm going to use for like oral hygiene drawer. And then I only got, I got like this pack that had this big one in it. And then two of these smaller sizes. I don't know exactly where I'm going to use these, but I only got one pack. So that way I can kind of like see what I can use them for, where I need them. And then once I get everything into the cabinets and drawers and stuff, then I can always go back and get more because I'll know exactly what I need. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start placing products in here. We'll see. Hopefully I'm going to do this as my oral hygiene and then maybe the second one like in care and maybe extra products down there and then like all of my body care stuff will go in the center and then hopefully these little three drawers will fit my hair stuff I did go through and like declutter everything and so I don't have any like extra products that I'm not using so we'll see I may have to use this um, cabinet though for some of my hair products for sure so yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of play around with it and start putting things in place. skincare stuff um all of my skincare is not gonna fit into this drawer so I think what I'm gonna do is probably have to put some of it in here I just put all my products like body care products in here but I still have to like organize it and figure out where they're gonna go I just wanted to see like how much stuff I have to see if it'll even fit in here and then I left this one on the left all um empty because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this one for my hair some hair care stuff at least like taller bigger bottles and stuff so I think what I'm going to do is maybe organize this area first and then I'm going to leave a section for like extra skincare products that are not going to fit in my skincare drawer body products in here now is organized as they're gonna get for now at least I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair care stuff and like I said if I can get all my hair care in these three drawers then I'll have a little bit more room to work with with my body care and stuff in here but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair care now let the fire light the waist kicking my feet up left the PJs on the PJs yeah I'm a big dog and I walk around with no leash I got water on me, yeah, everything on Fiji Zany boss, suicide door, brand new bag College girls, give a nigga head in my rap Rockstar life, so much money on me So, now that I'm looking at it, I think it may be beneficial to use at least some of those um, organizers into this drawer just to help separate like all of my scrunchies from all of my little hair clips and my tools and stuff, like my brushes and combs and 
I don't know if I will use all three of them in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put them in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put them, there we go, <laughs> in here. And um, like I said, if I need any more for any other areas, I can always go back and get more. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try it in here. all right so this is how everything is looking um i have two hand soap things that one isn't filled up yet but i'm just trying to finish that little um method hand wash one before i put hand soap in there but that's why both of those are sitting there and then i also have to figure out what else i want to put on this little tray thing um i do have these two things with just some cotton balls some cotton pads and then my little um floss picks but yeah so this actually worked out perfectly for like my oral hygiene stuff i also put like my contact solution and stuff back there and then just some extra tools and gadgets and stuff for my um toothbrush and then the second drawer i have like all my skincare it's not the neatest or organized i also need to re-up on some of my products which i'm waiting for the sephora sale so stay tuned for that but definitely have to re-up on some products and then this i can probably get it a little bit more organized than this but like my main goal for today was just to get everything in here so that's all my skincare or at least most of my skincare down here is just extra products that like i'm still using like certain products these are just like refill backup products and then just like my extra loofahs and extra cotton pads so this is just like an extras drawer backup products drawer and then in here i got most of my body care in here um i also have hair care over here and then this little thing i got a while ago i can't remember where i got this from yeah i can't remember if i had to guess maybe target but i honestly don't remember but i have like my um straighteners and curling irons in there and that fits in there perfectly lastly on this side i have all of my like hair tools clips scrunchies that type of stuff in the top i also have most of my curly hair products are in this drawer, hair oils, edge control, stuff like that. And then down here in the bottom, I have like my, I did put my blow dryer because it didn't really fit anywhere else. And some, um, what do you call it? Flexi rods as well. But everything else in here is mainly like straight hair products as well as different sprays and stuff that I'll use like when I have braids and stuff. So that's this drawer. I do still have all of like my um what do they call like scarves and bonnets i think i'm gonna get a uh, basket for my shelves over here and i'm just gonna store all because i have so many scarves and bonnets and headbands and stuff like that so i think i'm just gonna store them separately in a basket and yeah because they're not gonna fit in <laughs> in these cabinets or drawers or anything so i think just having a separate space would probably be best for all of those um i did put a couple of my spa headbands in my skincare drawer but not all of them are gonna fit so yeah once i get those baskets i'm gonna just for now just put them on the shelves over there neat as neat as i can get it but once i get the baskets i'll obviously organize them in there but yeah that's pretty much it for today um in my bathroom i'm happy that i got at least all my body care products and whatnot and skincare put away so that way i can actually like use you know my bathroom um instead of like feel like i'm living out of boxes so yeah that's pretty much it with that so yeah i am going out to dinner later on i have to like get myself together but i'm gonna take you guys along with me me and my girls we're going out and getting something to eat we're actually going to the cheesecake factory which I don't know why but like i was literally just thinking about the cheesecake factory like a week or so ago whenever i drove past it i was like oh, i haven't been there in a while and then they mentioned going so i was like let's go 
So we're going to the Cheesecake Factory and we're going to have us a nice little dinner just because no special reason at all. But yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of that. As for moving purposes, moving vlog content, I think that is going to be it for this video um, and for this week. I feel like I have accomplished a good amount <laughs> in this short period of time, um, even though I feel like, is this, I think this is my third vlog. Um... I've accomplished a lot so I think I'm gonna take the rest of the week to just relax and take a break from moving <laughs> and yeah I will catch up with you guys if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch up with you guys in my next vlog bye y'all Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds, two inches, slides in both.